Hey y'all, this is Caroline with The Culture Project and today I wanna to talk about boundaries between guys and girls who are just friends. Once I was walking to a college class with a guy friend and we ran into my very best friend on campus. As I was introducing them, he said, hi, I'm Caroline's boyfriend. Um, hello? He definitely wasn't, especially because I had an actual boyfriend in a different city at that time. What about our friendship led him to be so bold in claiming this? Something was clearly wrong with this picture and there was a real need for boundaries in the guy-girl friendship. Let's break it down. Why do we need boundaries in our friendships? How can we establish those boundaries? And what do we do when those boundaries aren't communicated or are even crossed? All right, first up, why do we need boundaries in our friendships? Countless teen girls that I've spoken to have experienced the dating but not really relationship, where they spend all their time talking to a guy, staying up late and sharing their heart, exclusively being best friends with the guy and doing coupley things. And they ultimately feel emotionally used by him because he never asked her out. She feels like she's being treated as a girlfriend without the real commitment from him. This can happen in similar ways when the physical touch lines get blurred too. Getting cuddly, holding hands with someone that you're not dating. People notice. And the parties involved are left thinking, what even are we? Boundaries can be extremely helpful to help protect ourselves from use physically and emotionally. Number two, how can we establish those boundaries? First up, pray about them, talk about them. These are going to be unique to you and your friendships. Here are some common boundaries that I've seen helpful. First up, communication limits. When you're in bed late at night and you're texting someone, you're likely gonna feel more vulnerable and be prone to oversharing. If the first person you say good morning to and the last person you say good night to is this friend, you could be over communicating. Next, prioritizing same-sex friendships over opposite sex friendships. Investing in authentic same-sex friendships, you'll find that your experience as a man or woman is better understood because they've experienced the unique things that only your sex can too. Thirdly, what do we do when those boundaries aren't communicated or are even crossed? If boundaries haven't been communicated, it's never too late to choose to communicate them. It might be difficult to backtrack now, but if your friend isn't willing to respect them and at least try, maybe they're not really honoring you. Sometimes you'll fall and you'll mistakenly cross a boundary, but there is room for asking forgiveness and extending mercy there too. If boundaries have been communicated and are blatantly crossed, this is an opportunity for a hard look in the mirror. Mercy is beautiful, but you were also never meant to be used. So please consider if you should actually remain in this friendship if you are seeing boundaries ignored, dismissed, or even rejected. You are worthy of so much more. The purpose of boundaries is to maintain clarity and protect yourself and others from use. But if love propels you into something more than friendship, praise God. Boundaries are good in every single relationship and we can always take time to reassess. We at The Culture Project love love. So if you're ready to move on from just friends to something more, be not afraid and full send. I believe in you and I am so excited to see you thrive in every relationship.